Would you like to learn more about faith? You've come to the right person. No, not me, Abraham. I'm Malcolm Cox, and this is a daily devotional podcast supporting a teaching series for the Watford and Thames Valley Churches of Christ called Adventures in Faith with Abraham. It's also part of my Quiet Time coaching series. What is it about Abraham which is so admirable? Well, many things, but perhaps above all else, his adventurous faith, as it says in Hebrews 11 verse 8, By faith, Abraham, when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. Join me as we step out on a faith adventure with Abraham. Today we continue in chapter 19. By the time Lot reached Zoar, the sun had risen over the land. The Lord rained down burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of the heavens. Thus, He overthrew those cities and the entire plain, destroying all those living in the cities and also the vegetation in the land. But Lot's wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt. Early the next morning, Abraham got up and returned to the place where he had stood before the Lord. He looked down toward Sodom and Gomorrah, toward all the land of the plain, and he saw dense smoke rising from the land like smoke from a furnace. So when God destroyed the cities of the plain, he remembered Abraham. And he brought Lot out of the catastrophe that overthrew the cities where Lot had lived. What are we seeing here? God pays attention to sincere prayers. There's no getting away from the fact that the scene is tragic and we don't have time to go into the reasons for God's drastic action. That would have to wait for a teaching opportunity. But given that God is just, the situation in Sodom must have been so dreadful that had we been there, we would have understood God's actions. Perhaps the key phrase in this section is, he remembered Abraham. What does that mean? Had the Lord forgotten him? (laughs) Unlikely. It seems that although Abraham's intercessory prayers did not save Sodom, they influenced the Lord in rescuing Lot and his family. As Abraham surveys the wreckage of Sodom, we do not know whether he is aware that Lot has been rescued. For all he knows, his prayers were inadequate and a waste of time. Yet God, in his friendship with Abraham and in honoring his covenant with him, has attended to his prayers and rescued his nephew. Sometimes we pray and and don't see our prayers answered, or at least we don't see them answered before our eyes. Who knows what effect they're having in places we cannot see. No intercessory prayer is wasted. It has its effect on somebody somewhere. We may never be aware of the full impact of our prayers until we're in the next life. God always remembers you and your prayers. Our prayer point for today, ask God to grant you the confidence that he always remembers you and your prayers. If you have any questions or feedback, please let me send me an email, malcolm at malcolmcox.org. And as the Apostle Paul said of Abraham, he is the father of us all. Let's allow him to be the father of faith to you and me, now and always. Many thanks for listening today. See you tomorrow as we continue our adventure of faith with Abraham. Take care and God bless.